In this tutorial, we're going to see how to create the most basic type of web page there is. All we're going to do is just have a really simple line of text show up on the browser, and that's it. So I'm going to start with a blank page in my text editor. The text editor that I'm using is Text Wrangler, but you can use anything you want. You can use Text Edit on a Mac or Notepad on a PC. Anything that will just allow you to save a text file onto your computer. So I'm going to start with this blank page here in front of me and we're going to start with our first HTML tag and the first HTML tag we're going to start with is the HTML tag. So all tags in HTML we always start with an angle bracket pointing to the left and then we put in the name of the tag in this case HTML and because this is what we call a start tag we're going to put another angle bracket pointing the other way at the other side all HTML start tags, they always take that form. They start with an angle bracket pointing to the left, they put in the tag name, and then at the other side of the tag they have an angle bracket pointing to the right. We're going to skip a line, not that it matters too much to HTML and how the browser interprets it, but just for the sake of clarity when we're looking and doing this page ourselves in our text editor. And I'm going to put in another HTML tag this time it's going to be the body tag and again notice that I've got an angle bracket pointing to the left the name of the tag and then an angle bracket pointing to the right what this tag alerts the browser to is that we're entering the main body of the page so the main window frame that will show the web page is starting from here on in because I'm in that main window any kind of text that I put in here that isn't a tag of some sort will show up on the browser. So I can put in a simple line of text and that's what I'm going to do. And that's the text that I want to show up on the browser. It's just going to be the most basic type of page. All we're going to have is just a white background with that sentence right up at the top left of the browser. And that's my page finished, that's the content finished. So I'm going to go on to the next line and I'm going to put in what's called an end tag. And I want to end off the body section. And what end tags look like in HTML is they have an angle bracket pointed to the left, they've got a forward slash, the name of the tag, and then an angle bracket pointing to the right. So exactly the same as the start tag except I just have this one forward slash just inside the first angle bracket and before the tag name. That ends off the whole body element. So everything between the start body tag and the end body tag is in the body of the web page. And because I've ended off my body element, I also need to end off my HTML element with an end HTML tag. Again, the same type of format. This HTML file is now ready to be saved. So I'm going to go into my file menu and I'm going to go save as. And I'm going to find my folder that I want to save it in. In this case, I'm just saving it into a folder called sample on my desktop. And most importantly, I have to save it with the proper name and I have to save it with a .html extension. So whatever goes in here, I'm just going to name this sample1, I have to put .html at the end. Whatever text editor you're using, it may not do it automatically, so you just need to be aware of that. Now I'm going to click on save and that file is saved into that folder sample as the file name sample1.html. You'll notice in my text editor or text wrangler, as soon as I save it as a .html file, text wrangler realizes that this is a web page and it color codes my different tags and different parts of the web page in my code so I can see what's what and that's quite handy, but not all text editors do that. Now that I've saved my HTML file, I really want to see what it looks like in the browser, see the overall effect and see what the end web user will see. So 
there's a few ways to approach this, but what I find is the handiest way is to just get your file manager, whether that's a finder on your Mac or a Windows Explorer on a PC. Just find the folder sample and find the actual file that we're just after saving, which is sample1.html, and just double click. I always find it handy just to keep the file manager open all the time when we're dealing with web uh, pages and web design. I'm just after clicking on sample1.html and because Chrome is my default browser it's automatically opened that file in the Chrome browser and now I don't see the code anymore I see the way that the web browser interprets that code it interprets the HTML tags and it realizes oh this is the web designers instructions to me to actually display this content that is the actual piece of text a sentence in a particular way and I can see just that simple sentence displayed on my web page. It's always a good idea to keep those three pieces of software open on your computer the whole time. So your web browser, your, fi your file manager and the text editor that you're using to edit the text. So you can quickly flick between the different types of program and you can see the effect if I make a change here and I save it uh, I can see the effect back in my browser when I click on the refresh button. And that's how to create the most basic type of web page.